You know you can use a nuclear explosion to generate laser beams, what's known as a bomb pumped laser. It's obviously very complicated, but essentially you just need to have the right materials or lasing medium, basically a bunch of rods mounted around the device, which in the tiny fraction of a second before being vaporized would convert the bomb's energy into powerful X-ray or gamma ray laser beams, which if set up right could be aimed in certain directions. Why would you want to do that? To shoot down missiles, obviously. Project Excalibur was conceived in the 1970s. The idea was to have nuclear bombs in space each with around 50 attached X-ray lasers that could in theory be used to target and destroy Soviet nuclear missiles in flight from thousands of kilometers away, ideally taking out the ICBM before it could deploy its multiple warheads. Excalibur was further developed as part of the US Strategic Defense Initiative, the so-called Star Wars program of the 1980s, which also included a bunch of other projects like orbital mirrors to reflect ground-based lasers onto incoming missiles. Make sure you're following for more on all of that. Ultimately though, concerns about the technical viability of Project Excalibur led to its cancellation. But in the future, who knows? I mean, one of the main obstacles to developing effective laser weapons is power. And as power supplies go, a nuclear explosion has got to be up there. Literally up there, in space. Follow for more.